Right, so this is Magic. She's a six-year-old Andalusian mare. And she was previously broken. And apparently what happened when she went back for a refresher course, the brakes got stuck on the vehicle and she panicked and um, got upset by it. So she's been sent to us and the problem we've got to work with is her pulling away, you know, i.e. so she'll go in single um, and that she'll just walk away with no fuss and obviously be happy to pull the carriage. Um, so you can see there they're harnessing her up, just standing still nicely. Got a few old midges around her, but she's not bothered. She's not worried about the carriage or about what they're doing behind her or the noises or anything like that. Obviously we've done a lot of work with her to get her to this stage. Just checking the traces there. When we first tried to put her in single, she really was very, very uptight and very upset. Mm. So it's taken us quite a while just to get her to accept the vehicle going on. She seems to associate the vehicle with a problem, you know, of some sort. Oh, well, over here. Is it three there? No, two. So we're going to film her leaving the yard. And ask her to stand still. Now we'll ask her to walk on. She's just stood there just while I open the gate. And then that's just gonna walk her on again. Now stop her, Fletch. That's it, now walk on. Now stop her.
Now walk on. That's it, now stop her. And walk on. ground here is obviously uh, going uphill so it's not just the fact that she'll stop and start and pull away again on the flat she's also got to pull away uphill and not get upset by that so this is why we're stopping and starting her but you can see she's got no problem sort of you know pushing the collar now she'll do the job and obviously even when she stops She's got the weight of the carriage sort of pulling her back, if that makes sense, so... So Magic's problem was pulling away, you know, obviously where she was broken before. Um, by somebody else and the brakes got stuck on the carriage. Apparently she panicked and, you know, wouldn't pull anything away, which is understandable because obviously it probably broke her heart, you know, too much weight trying to pull the carriage with the brakes on and she thought, well, hang on a minute, I can't actually pull it. So what we've done now, this vehicle is heavier than your carriage and the point of putting her in one of these is obviously if she'll pull this heavier carriage and stop and start and pull it up a hill and, and things like that, and then she's not going to have any problem when she has a lighter carriage behind her. I mean, she's perfectly capable of pulling this. Obviously, we've built up her fitness so she can cope with the weight, but the carriage itself is, is wider and made out of heavier gauge stuff than um, the vehicle that you've got. So if she'll pull this one away, she's not going to have a problem with the other one. And there's no point with a horse like this. You can't hit her on the backside to get her to pull away she's got to do it because she's happy to so you notice Fletcher's not using a whip he's got his reins nice and slack he's just talking to her and asking her to walk on and she's got to do it because she's been told to and because she's happy to do what the driver says and that's true for sort of any horse in any situation you know they, they must obey the driver not out of fear of being punished but because they're happy to do so and that means when you get into a problem situation such as you know you're standing at a t-junction and there's cars all around you and big lorries coming past and you tell your horse to stand still it's got to stand still you know there's no ifs or buts about it it's not only your horse's life that's in danger it's your life so when you tell your horse to do something it's got to do it and therefore that then becomes your responsibility never to ask your horse to do something that's going to cause it pain 
or never to ask it to do something that it can't do. Now this little girl was obviously asked to do something that she couldn't do and that was pull a carriage with the brakes on. Now, you know, the, the brakes should have been checked beforehand maybe. I mean, you know, they can just seize on, but they shouldn't do. That situation shouldn't have happened and certainly not when you're, you're training a horse. But it happened with her and obviously now she's come down to us, we've got to train her so that she knows when she walks away she can physically pull the carriage you know it's not like she's tied to a wall and she's trying to pull this great big heavy object that's going to upset her because she you know she cannot physically pull the weight but you can see the whole time I've been talking she's been coming down this road she's standing on a nice flat rein she's only got a piece of rubber in her mouth you know we don't use all these metal bits and leverage and things like that she's just on a, a soft rubber snaffle so that also shows that she'll stand still when she's asked. And if you look at the reins, Fletcher's got them really slack. So it just applies a little bit of pressure to tell her to stand still. And she stands still without fidgeting because she's been asked to. And then he asks her to walk on. And again, she walks away quite happily. You know, there's no plunging, no running backwards, no rearing up or bouncing about in the air. She's just walking away nice and calmly. And you may say, well, what's the point in taking her out and, you know, starting and stopping? You're never going to stop her down the road. Well, that's exactly the point. You know, she should stop when you tell her to. If you have to stop here, for example, if, I don't know, there was something in the road or people coming past or for whatever reason, you know, it's no good having a horse that only stands still at junctions. So the best time to do it with her is to do it now, you know, with this particular horse walking her down here asking her to stop and start so she's not only doing it once when she leaves the yard she's doing it while she's being driven you know going down the road several times down the road and then the next stretch of road we maybe wouldn't stop her but the more time she stops and pulls this carriage away you know it just shows she's perfectly happy to do so and I'll just film that rub a bit See, that's all she's got in her mouth, and Fletcher's got the reins lovely and slack. So that's perfect. So this is a slightly steeper slope. Just ask her to stand still again, and then walk on, and that was lovely. So you see, there's no reaction, no you know, getting uptight about it. And that's exactly what we're looking for. I mean, it's taken us a, a lot of work to get her to this stage, because um, she was upset by what had happened at, at the other trainer's yard, definitely. Um, and it has taken a lot of work to get her to this stage. But now I think the, the problem's been overcome. You know, she's certainly not frightened of pulling the carriage away, either up a hill or otherwise. She's a lovely, lovely mare, you know, she's just doing what she's told and she's happy to do it. And that's what we're looking for, they've got to be safe, confident and happy. I mean, you can see there, see the pull on the... Trace is here to drop her head down to get into the colour to pull it away. And again, this is a totally different um, situation. She doesn't have as much weight to pull because obviously the carriage is rolling downhill, pushing onto her breaching a bit more, but that's still important that she'll walk away when she's asked to. I mean, she's been a lot of work, this mare, and it's a shame, you know, both Baz and I and, and Fletcher, we're quite upset with the fact that, you know, what's happened to this mare through other people training her, because it didn't need to happen, and it shouldn't have happened, because without it, she would have been a lovely, lovely mare. And she's had that bad experience, and it's been a lot of work to put right. 
and it's a shame because really the little girl didn't need to go through it in the first place and that's what's upsetting. We see so many cases of horses where things have gone wrong because people don't know what they're doing or, you know, I mean, anybody can make a mistake, I'm not saying that, but certainly people you think would know better and it didn't need to happen to her. So we've got Fletcher driving her and I'm just going to walk alongside now. This is coming up a slope and it's a... You know, a junction where you have to stop. So you can see she's pulling it uphill. Cars coming from all directions. So she stops and then walks away. And you can see how much of a slope that is. Again, this is another uphill pull. Ask her to stop it uphill and then walk away. Good girl, you good girl. So I turn left girl. Well done.